morning Michael here and today again we're looking at Psalms 116 focusing on verse 16 and 17 for the exposition let's go ahead and read those two verses verse 16 O Lord I am your servant I am your servant the son of your maidservant you have loosed my bonds. Verse 17. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. And so Spurgeon from the treasury of David exposits on these verses. Verse 16. The man of God in paying his vows rededicates himself unto God. The offering which he brings is himself, as he cries, O Lord, truly I am thy servant, rightfully, really, heartily, constantly, I own that I am thine, for thou hast delivered and redeemed me. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid, a servant born in thy house, born of a servant, and so born a servant, and therefore doubly thine. My mother was thine handmaid, and I, her son, confess that I am altogether thine by claims arising out of my birth. O oh, that children of godly parents would thus judge! But alas, there are many who are the sons of the Lord's handmaids, but they are not themselves his servants. They give sad proof that grace does not run in the blood. David's mother was evidently a gracious woman, and he is glad to remember that fact and to see in it a fresh obligation to devote himself to God. Thou hast loosed my bonds. Freedom from bondage binds me to thy service. He who is loosed from the bonds of sin, death, and hell should rejoice to wear the easy yoke of the great deliverer. Note how the sweet singer delights to dwell upon his belonging to the Lord. It is evidently his glory, a thing of which he is proud, a matter which causes him intense satisfaction. Verily, it ought to create rapture in our souls if we are able to call Jesus Master and are acknowledged by him as his servants. Verse 17. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Being thy servant, I am bound to sacrifice to thee, and having received spiritual blessing at thy hands, I will not bring bullock or goat, but I will bring that which is more suitable, namely, the thanksgiving of my heart. My inmost soul shall adore thee in gratitude, and will call upon the name of the Lord. That is to say, I will bow before thee reverently, lift up my heart in love to thee, think upon thy character, and adore thee as thou dost reveal thyself. He is fond of this occupation, and several times in this psalms declare that he will call upon the name of the Lord, while at the same time he rejoices that he had done so many a time before. Good feelings and actions bear repeating. The more hearty calling upon God, the better. Yes, the psalm that declares, I love the Lord. And how he exemplifies it in every detail of his living and his supplication. Well, glory to God. I trust you enjoyed the meditation. Michael here yet again declaring, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.